this edition of NFC Tags 101 How To Videos, I'm going to show you very simply how to create a tag that opens automatically opens up to your website. So I'm going to do that uh, using the app NFC Smart Q. So let's go ahead and open that up. Now a website address doesn't take a lot of memory, so you can basically use any tag you want to for this. Um, if it's a tag though that you want anybody else to be able to uh, uh, tap and open up the web address, then you want to stick with uh, universally compatible tags. So to Andy tags, we have uh, n tag 203 tags, which are this tag and this tag and this tag. And then we also have uh, this Topaz 512 tags. These have more memory, um, way more than you would need for a website, um, but we do have those as well. Um, if you use the MyFair Classic tags, then uh, most people would be able to tap it and open up the web address, but some people would not because there are a few phones out there like the Galaxy S4, the Nexus 4 that are not compatible and cannot read these tags. So keep that in mind for a tag like this. If you're putting it, you know, if you're using it for business purposes to share your web address, you probably want to use a tag that's universally compatible. So it's very simple right here. It says write URL. So we're going to click that. Now with NFC uh, Smart Queue, if you have a web address uh, bookmarked, you could just select a bookmark. Uh, but we're going to type a URL, so let's click that. It uh, already puts in there your HTTP colon for us for slash www because obviously you're going to need that. If it's a uh, uh, secure web address, then you'd have to add the S after the P, of course. But we're gonna, just going to do antitags.com. It's already in there because I type it so much. So there we go. Yeah, antitags.com and click OK. It'll give you a, you can kind of see the web address, make sure it's the right one. Uh, and then you click OK at the bottom to have that to the tag. So there you go. It's right there. You can add other things to a tag. So you could, uh, if you're creating this for yourself, you could have it open a web address and do other stuff. But if you're creating a tag for other people to tap, then you don't want to add other settings that may or may not work on their phone. You're just going to do the web address. When we're ready to write it, we just click write at the bottom. But we need a tag, so let's say we're going to use this tag at our shop for people to tap to open up a web address. So we will click write here at the bottom, and it'll tell you. Uh, to place the tag against the back of the phone to write. And if you want to make it read only, you would click that button and that'll lock the tag. You might want to do that if this is a tag you're setting at your business because you don't want someone to come behind you and rewrite the tag and change it. Just keep in mind, if you do lock a tag, it may not be unlockable. It may be, that may be it. You can never use that tag for anything else. So keep that in mind if you're doing that. So we're going to tap this tag. And it says tag reading success. Tag writing success. So now we're all good to go. Let's get out of Smart Queue. Now anybody who comes to your shop and sees that tag can tap that tag and it automatically just opens up the web address. So very simple uh, uh, tag. You just write a URL to the tag and when anyone with an NFC enabled phone taps the tag, it'll open up to the web address. So, very, very easy to do, and uh, as I said, you can use uh, pretty much any tag for that, because uh, I don't know of any web addresses out there that are so long that they won't fit um, on uh, even the N tag 2 or 3 tags, so, which is what I use for this. So that's a website URL, you can pick up your own uh, anti tags, any of the N tag 2 or 3 tags or the Topaz 512, which is also a universal tag, or the MyFair Classic tags if you're just using this for yourself or you're not concerned with compatibility. Um, you can pick those up at antitags.com. We also have the keychains, so you could do a URL on the keychain as well. So that is how you create a uh, NFC tag to take someone to a website address.